I need to process here. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Rich and I'm Greg. There you go. We are here to for our Moon Knight episode four reaction. Remember, there's only six episodes in this series, and every person that I've run into that has already seen it, I have screamed "Shut up!" and ran away as fast, <laughs> fast as I could. Well, as fast as I could. But no, I'm actually pretty quick, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers. <laughs> so yeah, we're looking forward to this. Um, Oh, before we even get going on this, if you're watching the other videos that our channel is putting out, then you've seen the CGC pre-screen unboxing. It was our first ever pre-screen, did very, very well. And um, the two, I, I, there were three books that failed to make the cut. One, I'm sorry, I needed to keep it because it's the only one I have. But the other two books, which are Dark Ages and House of Slaughter Foil, uh, number one, I said I was going to give away at the beginning of this video. And hopefully you watch, I know you watch that video. Hopefully, Larry Cimarelli, you are watching this one. Larry. Okay? Congratulations. Every time I, I have a giveaway, he's like, I want those books. Well, you finally got them. Here they are. You know the rules. Nice and simple. Just go to Ohana underscore comics on Instagram and send me a message to make sure that I know that you've gotten this. I believe you. Yeah, I know you've won before. But just acknowledge that you saw this video, and I'll get these off to you. Just tell me also that the address hasn't changed. I don't know if, like, you know, the DEA ever caught up to you and figured out where you were, and you had to, like, quickly pack and move. I don't know. <laughs> Wait a sec. Well, I mean, he's my mule, so. <laughs> okay, so, um, episode three. We're going to have a little quick recap about that. Yeah, I need right? it. So, well, we found out that there is a third personality in this because uh we've got um both steven and mark you know mark saying to steven what did you do steven saying i didn't do it well somebody did it wasn't either one of us <laughs> so was it conchu no it was everybody says jake because jake is the other predominantly strong character in the comic book series but Jake is kind of a booze drinking, I don't give a dang about anything cab driver, if I'm not mistaken. That was cute. I, but, <laughs> I don't give a dang I, about this. I kept it clean. <laughs> I kept it clean. <laughs> but Stephen is a billionaire. And now Stephen works in a gift shop. So right. it's not beyond the MCU to completely change what... Okay, so now we're going to have... He's a bus driver that cares. I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I personally think he is a worse killer than Mark. Yeah, and, he like he has less discretion. Well, now here's the thing, and we've gotten clues to this, and it's just glaring me in the face. I rewatched three and just kind of smacked myself in the head. Like, why didn't I put all this together And when I heard it? First episode, um, when the cops take Steven, they're talking about... Um, archaeologists put their hands zip tied shot in the back of the head yes yes Layla's father is a archaeologist that was killed yes he was uh huh and Dr. Harrow uh, Arthur Harrow is saying when are you going to tell her the truth well you're afraid she's going to find out the truth of what happened <sighs> wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jake killed Layla's father. Snape kills Dumbledore. Did you know my ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you that story later on. Wow. <laughs> That's a great uh, correlation, though, actually. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, we're in the second half of the season. Now. Um, we already know there will be no second season of this. So what? But we learned that that might be a very nice thing for things going forward, even right. though on the surface it may not appear as so. Uh, well, I don't think that it's going to end the character, but it's definitely going to end this little quick story arc. Right. I don't think it's going. Well, it may have a cliffhanger. I mean, Loki sure did. Even though we know Loki's going to have a season two, I think they'll have some advancement of the story before Le uh, in the movies before Loki season two. That oh man two weeks in a day until 
Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> Two weeks from tomorrow. <laughs> That's exciting. Yay! So what do you think? Uh, we should get this ball rolling on the watching Moon Knight episode four. Let's do it. Poor Conchu. I wonder is that he's gonna have like a whole shelf with other gods they turned into stone. Ooh. They can just like chit chat with each other. Yeah, and then Mark's gonna get in there and go, which one is it? Uh let's try this one. <laughs> try this one. It'll be a really old uh knight there. You chose poorly. You chose wisely. <laughs> <Right. laughs> okay, back up. Let's see. There's oh two. My God. Oh, three. No. Uh, yep. So did the other gods all abandon, or did they... No, there's more than eight gods in... One, two... Wow. One, two, three, four, five, count ten six, there. seven, eight, nine, ten there, yeah. Bro. So maybe they don't They don't only imprison gods. Yeah, because what are there, nine in the Ennead? Yeah. And there were still five of them there. You know, one of them will be, you know, like the Spirit of Vengeance or something. I want Ghost Rider. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, they could get him in that way and not go through Mephisto and the Bible and still keep the Chinese market. Who knows? Yo, if I'm right, and one of those is Ghost Rider, and that's how they get him out. That would be... You heard it here. Oh, Hannah Cox. <laughs> okay, so he's just passed out from wielding all that power. Yeah, but who's, who's going to wake up? Who's gonna wake up? It's gonna be Steven because oh, he was last in charge. I, Will it be Mark? Remember, or the third person? Remember, yeah, last episode, the guy radioed in. He was like, "They're in the desert," and we never saw anything yep. of it until now. Apparently, they know it's gonna take a lot of ammunition to shoot you. Just wait for the god to be turned to stone. He'll have no healing armor, and then we start shooting. Yeah, that would work better. Check around the truck. Don't check in it. Just check around it. <laughs> uh, probably translated to check behind the truck. Looks like he's dead. Maybe we should shoot was... him a couple times to be sure. <laughs> you always do a double tap. What is she fighting? A Tyrannosaurus? Oh, yeah, because he can't turn Come the here. gun. <laughs> Come here. Question is, is she Dr. Grant or Malcolm in this case? And I'm thinking she's going to drive 88 miles an hour. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no. Okay, go behind I, the I car. Call bullshit. <laughs> if you're going to do that, go behind so you don't. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But that deal didn't involve you getting Layla and us killed, did it? That's not going to fly with me. So we're still with this, just these two. That he would just disappear yeah. from my life. And you didn't think that maybe I should have been... I named the dog Indiana. Yeah. Filmed in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Where, wherever it is, it's I'm actually gorgeous. curious. I'm going to find out. It's the same place they recorded 127 hours. Uh, okay. The guy gets his yeah, arm yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't know. <gasps> that looked like he had golden horns, right? I was like, I thought handlebars. <laughs> Either way, shiny. Let's keep moving. It looks like they're already inside. I wonder if this like huh? landscape is all Unreal Engined, like the way Mandalorians was. Like the the yeah, like, background parts, not like the foreground and stuff. 
the episode being named the tomb, I assume that meant the inside the pyramid getting Khonshu, but it looks like it's going to be the tomb of Amit. Yes. I would think it would probably be better to go and get Khonshu freed and have a god on your side to fight this than two mortals going in with nothing. <laughs> comes out your mouth to shows what a clunker I am. Look, I wish I clunker? I really do. But unfortunately, British? still here. And if you are going to go through with this, you got to be smart. At least for Layla's sake. I've been in... Oh, yeah. Off a cliff! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to get complicated. It's Flare Girl. <laughs> What's going on What is here? that? A, a dagger, a knife, the blood all over the place. I have to say, I feel like I've been waiting for this my whole life. Did she just kill somebody? No. Mark's trying to protect you from Conchu. That's why he's away. He, he thinks Conchu wants you for it. Sorry. No, that was noble. Extremely. Him, why are you telling me this now? Because you're going to kiss me? To Try that kiss again. He's gonna throw you off a cliff. <laughs> she looks like he tastes like limes. Well, he definitely does kiss different, so she knows it's somebody different. Okay. First. She's going down first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that relationship <laughs> escalated. I still can't tell when you're joking or not. <laughs> Neither can he. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so when he really wants to, he can influence those limbs. <laughs> Yeah, it's muscle memory and all that, right? <laughs> I can't. Oh, wow, look at you. Oh, yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Wow. They're just like a stamp of guard for centuries. A bright? No, I can't, I can't even... <laughs> so if, if they just sprang to life right now and asked me a riddle for passage, I'd, I'd be thrilled. I'll shit myself, but I'll be thrilled. <laughs> What's this? Father, you would have loved to be here. No. Big history buff, is he? Oh, so much worse. Archaeologist on a mission. Oh, boy. Is Stephen going to figure it out and tell her? Damn it. He's honesty, remember? <laughs> We're dying. Yes. He did. I mean, you still got to get the selfies with the gods, so. <laughs> I'm already liking this episode better than the last one, though. Ooh. The Eye of Horus. Oh, shit. Royal symbol protection in the afterlife. I mean, like the resources needed to build this. Well, speech is in a sense the taste is, but okay. I never thought of thought. I never thought of thought as a sense, but yeah. I don't know what they thought of as senses thousands of years ago in ancient Egypt. So right, it's like people thought the elements were fire, water, wind, and earth. Earth, wind, and fire, baby. I should have just said that. <laughs> Much easier. <laughs> then we get a copyright strike, you know? <laughs> Ugh. Tell me about it. Sorcerers of their time. They've been down here for centuries. And these must be so. All the uh, organs except the heart. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Okay, so she didn't kill somebody, but somebody is being killed, obviously. Just a minute. Uh, just a minute. I'm. 
like, just saying what I see and <laughs> see lots of yeah. things and blood going that way. And so I'm just thinking, like, yeah. <laughs> That's some good wood. It's been in that stable for that many thousands oh, of years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, to be fair, it hasn't been exposed to the elements. So according to the Earth, wind, and fire. Hey! <laughs> thingies. Yeah, yeah. It's so freaking yeah, quiet. Oop. <laughs> Ooh. Some, some in the. Oh shit. <laughs> Is that a zombie? Or, like, mummy? Well, he's just as preserved as, uh, well, preserved as the wood, so yes, I guess. So, yeah, I, maybe it would be an unwrapped mummy. Hmm. <laughs> this is pretty gnarly for Disney. I mean, she's an adventurer, and it sounds like she's getting grossed out by it. Pull out those flares. Set it on fire. Why is it nobody can keep quiet? Is he, like, making clicking noises? Yep. Oh, I don't like this. Oh! Yeah, I'm sure that worked. Good job, Steven. Ah, uh, yeah. Please. It's okay, there's a bridge. You just can't see it. Yeah, this was built by the Empire. They didn't have railings either. <laughs> Sith. <laughs> it's a light dagger. Steven. Oh no. I don't like the clickies. It reminds me of that game, Last of Us, there's enemies that are, they call them clickers because they go around doing that shit. Wasn't that a comic book? I'm sure there was an adaptation for that, yeah. I didn't know if it was the book turned into a game or the game turned into a book. I oh, don't know. No, it was the game first. Of course. Wow, all the way back. Yep. You think she's got that Tom Cruise airplane cable? <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's got something. Ah, dude! Somebody's taking somebody's taking a shortcut. Oh no! These. <laughs> Ooh. Reminds me of Encanto. <laughs> this is freaky, dude. This is Bruno's room. <laughs> a, like advanced version. Yeah. What the? Whoa! Fuck. Oh, damn! Are you serious? <laughs> Where's my 3D glasses? Damn. Oh man. What she what did she use to do that with? There you go. Damn. <laughs> yeah, this is this. Wait, did she She's hopefully just hanging there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be one of those. Got to love it. Oh, man. <laughs> that Her being pulled back, man. That was just... That's, that's straight-up horror movie. 
Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I've ever seen it something like that that way done before. Pulled away from you. Usually they come towards you for the yeah. um, for the for the shock, but just disappearing into the distance. That ooh, that was uh, new. this whole sequence has been uh, icky. I mean, it was it was. Pre- she heard or just like freaked out, shocked. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well. It kind of broke the quietness. <laughs> oh, he kissed her. <laughs> he needed a reflection. What are you going to do? Try and drown us now? Yeah, I should. I think. I think we're looking. Lost <gasps> Say it. Say it. Say it. Of Alexander. Oh, Prince. okay. No, never mind. Never mind. I thought of something else. <laughs> So Alexander the and his conquests and never being defeated. Okay. I handled that beautifully. Why do all men like you? More pain than anyone could bear. He still hasn't told you the truth. Well, oh boy. Oh boy. So why don't you just go ahead? It's like the same reading, read, writing well, I mean, if you're gonna on the Beatle. You'd probably put it in a place where the average looter wouldn't think. Up. Alexander was the voice of Amit. In the mouth. A thought. I'm going to try something. Oh, in, oh, I guess you say, yeah. Ugh. Sorry. Oh, oh, so sorry. Sorry, Mr. Great. <laughs> Mr. Great. That that was more open than you expected. I was I was puckering up there for a minute. And no one knows who they were, do they? He's sitting too comfortably to be saying that kind of news, you know? I do hope you find closure. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. It's like, hey, so let me tell you how your father died. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, we'll just find another way. Uh, huh. Oh, another god. Well, yeah, she she they said she was a god. I didn't realize that she was char- turned to stone. Uh oh. <laughs> and he was shocked. He goes to us. I mean, I had to go digging down. He executed everyone at the dig site. My partner. I tried to, I tried, I tried to save you from them, but they couldn't save him. Must be another way out. Now Before she's excited to well, leave. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What are you saying? I say sunlight. I'm like, how about up? Yeah. They just need to look for a staff with a, an implement at the top where the sunlight can go through it and show them the way. Oh, staff yeah. of raw. <laughs> but take away one kadam for the god. <laughs> They're digging in the wrong place. <laughs> Boxers or briefs? <laughs> Paper or plastic? <laughs> okay. That looked like a damn heart shot. Okay, how... Oh. Didn't look that deep uh, a second no. ago. <laughs> Jumanji. Hey, what is this? WandaVision? We got like four three radio four three aspect, aspect ratio. ratio. Thank you. Yeah. 
There. It's all right, Rotter. It's all right. Those old bones can't hurt you. Some bad TV show. What? Does this is this what Stephen watches as a kid? Oh, I think not. You're Doctor Stephen Grant. <laughs> <laughs> The TVA got a paint job. <laughs> kind of feels that way. How are you doing today, Donna? This is beautiful. <laughs> uh, Khonshu. Khonshu with a yeah. dog. Well, there's the O. That one note that just keeps playing. Mm. Goldfish and ain't the... moving. Right, young man. Reflection. Got a Moon Knight doll in his hands. <laughs> and his leg is tied. Are they saying that the everything we've watched so far is in his mind? That none of it happened? That would be insane. <laughs> Doesn't explain Steven's version of the suit, though. Now we actually have Doctor Arthur Harrow. Meal out of a lunar god. And didn't you say that you were? For... I am thoroughly confused. Uh huh. <laughs> well, take some more. Take some more. I know. Context and perspective. And all I'm asking. How did he get from the wheelchair to that chair? Is an honest. From the rec room to there. Yeah. I... Don't hurt him, all right? Oh, it's this. That was the guy who was on the table, was it? Him? I, I, I sort of looked like him, but the other lady looked like the the cop from early on that came to his house, came to his flat. Yeah. Oh, uh, either Fitzgerald or Kennedy? Yeah. <laughs> Get the adrenaline running. <laughs> oh, is that Steven? Steven? Mark? Steven? Mark? That's weird. It's in your mind, man. It's the last thing that you remember. Paro shot us. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. All right, we gotta get out of here. Follow me. Come on. Just open up every door. Get another version of yourself. You have a whole army. I was kidding. No, do it. You gotta open that other one. Hi. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I'm so confused right now. All right. <laughs> Okay. I'm just like, I'm just like, hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, very tense episode, that's for sure. All right. Let me just, before, real quick, remind everybody, because um, we should have said it in the beginning of the video, and I'll try to make sure I say it going forward. The uh, episodes three, four, five, and six are each having a magic word displayed somewhere within the video at the end of the, the uh, episode 6 
you go to ohana underscore comics and list the four words and i'll draw a random name and give away some moon knight comics speaking of those real quick if i can yes. interject the uh you the may. one with the yellow cover i don't i forget what number it is nine eight yes they just came out with a second printing of that um i thought of that when i saw uh mark floating in the, the in, into the water because it was all like yellowy looking the same color yeah but i mean if you're in Probably a not. tomb for thousands of years that just may be the urinal i was gonna say all the uh, big pee. <laughs> and the poo poo <laughs> it all comes back around people it, it all comes back it around. all comes back to pee pee and poo poo <laughs> Wow. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I just wanted to throw that in there to make sure that people remember to, to pay attention to the magic words and get a chance to win some free comics. Continental United States or Canada, I'll throw in shipping for free too. Why not? Okay. So. Wow. She now knows that Mark was there. Now, when he said his partner shot him as well, I'm, I'm, I'm like flashing back to Obi-Wan saying uh, he was betrayed by a by Darth Vader who killed him. I was going you know? to say, can I guess what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah, his partner actually is himself. You know? And he was... But but how would he shoot himself? Well, maybe maybe Mark took back over and was like, what did I do? And shot himself? Like committed, committed yeah. suicide? Well, he was a mercenary, so he's not exactly the nicest guy. He didn't know the girl yet. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Or, or he could have just <laughs> but, had a partner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and was he broken before that all happened? You know, up in the brain? I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> I'm surprised that we didn't catch anything about the third personality yet. I'm wondering if that's... Uh, what is the third personality? Is a hippo? A female hippo? Ah. Oh. <laughs> that would be something. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, keep my hippo's na name out of your effing mouth. <laughs> no, it would have been... I, I don't, I'm wondering now if every single one of those rooms is going to open up and have another uh, Mark Spector version in it, and it's going to be a, an army. Tower so, Towerette is her name, or or its name. Towerette? T-A-W-E-R-E-T. -E -E Towerette. Oh, because you, we saw in the um, subtitles what she was saying? Uh, well, I just looked it up, but probably was there. Or, yeah, you could do it that way, too. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm trying to see something here. Yeah, I thought that that was going to be uh, not Alexander the Great. I thought that was going to be Ramatut, which is a version of Kang in ancient Egypt. Oh, I was thinking that was how they were going to link everything together. It wasn't going to be Alexander. They're going to say, "Is this Rama Tut?" Like I would have been like, "Okay, here we go. We just linked it." <laughs> wow, yeah, that would have interesting. Okay, oh, I did not expect Alexander the Great. That seems random, but um, but does anybody really does anybody know where his grieve actually? You know, he I actually know. is. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, my uh, Alexander the Great was trying to conquer the entire world. He never lost a battle. If you're gonna pick an avatar, that's the one you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm confused about that other coffin, sarcophagus, whatever you want to call it. The one that was standing up and bouncing around. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to get out, like more. And and the amount of rooms that were there. And yeah. Would you have spent enough time on the set, set design to make that many rooms unless there were actually that many personalities? I don't know. I don't know where they're, where they're going with this character to know how, again, they're keeping in the flavor of the spirit of the comic. Or are they going to keep it, you know, well, he had four, so we can make four. No, he had four. We're going to make 27. <laughs> we're going to really confuse the heck out of the audience. <laughs> but that was by far the tensest episode and the, and the most, as you said, horror ish yeah of anything i've seen on disney plus i mean that's that's genuinely pretty scary at some points i mean i watch things like you know like insidious and the ring and everything you know and i'm just sitting there with the popcorn i'm going in that room ah, told you how <laughs> <laughs> but this one i just saw her sleep i'm like whoa hey i wasn't ready for that that was some really good shock yeah 
Yeah, I know. I think part of it is because we don't expect it at all. On Disney stuff. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if I go to watch, you know, a, a rated G movie, and all of a sudden I see a the beheading, it's going to be a lot more shocking. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, this was my favorite episode of the series so far. I think it's mine too, and it's for a lot of reasons. But I just loved that whole scene of her, of uh, Layla running away. And, mm-hmm. and and that leads up to her Arthur telling her the history. But that whole scene was just so super fun and summer blockbustery. And like I said before, yeah. I, I love these like you know Indiana Jones swashbuckling adventure kind of things. Yeah, and the and hands was, coming through the wall. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it just gives me the willies, and I love it. It's it was awesome. just very very well done. You know, like you know, you're really high class horror, uh, haunted house at Halloween. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was awesome. I loved yeah. it. Um. I'm wondering if the reason, I mean, that that second sh- heart shot looked like it was definitely a hard shot. But the, did the water he fall in, was that something? Does the one god that did like Kanshu, is she involved in this at all? Uh, did she you know, pre- prevent him from dying just to have him be, you know, all this is still in his mind? I, I don't know. I, I have no idea where this is going. I can usually speculate about something. I am clueless <laughs> and really looking forward to next week now. What if I told you that Tawaret is the god of fertility and childbirth? Does that do anything for your speculation? No. Not me either. I, <laughs> no, and god of fertility, you would think, you know, like Salma Hayek, I wouldn't think hippo. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, Layla pregnant? That's all I can muster, but that seems like a long shot. Very, very long shot. Um, I mean, we can't let the child, the child of Konshu die. I, well, I don't get that. Um, well, yeah. unless the, that particular god is also is another fan of Conchus, you know, another ally of Conchus. Oh. I don't know. Uh, there were nine gods, only five were there. Where are the other four? What are those other ten? And I remember, all of these questions have yeah. been answered in two episodes. Jesus. I feel, I feel like the ten gods on the wall was like another episode. There was so much in this one. <laughs> yeah, and it seems like every time, you know, Disney Plus gets to something like this, I'm like... How are they going to wrap all of this up in two episodes? And then at the end of the next episode, they're like, there's still 99% of it to wrap up in one episode. Right, right. <laughs> and then they do it seamlessly every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have no idea. All I know is I loved this episode. <laughs> this was not just my favorite Moon Knight. This is probably one of my favorite episodes that I've seen on Disney Plus since the platform, since the, the streaming service went on. I am 100% on board with that statement. I agree wholeheartedly. The, the finale of WandaVision, um, scenes um, in different episodes, like what do you call it, when Sam brought Isaiah Thomas to the museum at the very end of Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah. That was just, I was sitting there going, Oh, yeah, <laughs> my heart strings. <laughs> I, I didn't know if he was gonna hug him or kill him. You know, <laughs> I told you I wanted to remain anonymous. Um, Loki, after being pushed through the portal back by Sylvie, and him just like slumped over, realizing that his one chance at happiness was because he couldn't be trusted. And that's because of everything that he's done for 1,500 years. His entire life has denied... The way he lived his life has denied him of happiness. Everything that he's done has just given him the ultimate price. Yeah. And he had that grand epiphany. I felt horrible for Loki. But again, these are moments in each one of these episodes. This episode, start to finish, was right there. Yeah. So, and then that one scene of her, her being pulled back, that one's gonna, I'm gonna be like popping up at two in the morning, going, "Whoa, okay, stop." 
<laughs> Can we uh, turn the whole light on, please? I don't like the darkness. Oh, I thought you meant I had to go turn the light. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm gonna say to myself in the, uh, when I wake up in the middle of the night, so I don't. Night light, night light, night light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My wife's gonna wake up and gonna have all three dogs. <laughs> They're gonna be looking. I'm like, help us. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I have some little notes here and there, but. That's... It was hard to write anything. It was just, I was really pulled into that episode, like, moment by moment. Yeah. So I will say, uh, right before they were going to go into Ahmed's tomb, um, the part where eventually Mark was like, I'll, I'll kick your ass if you, you know, t- put a finger on Layla. Yeah. He was actually being, like, really nice to Steven, I noticed, for the first time. He was talking about how... Um, at least you told her the truth. And I'm here for you. You're not alone. Yeah. That's like a really big statement for someone who has, um, I guess, mental issues. Yeah. Uh, but I think Mark Mark also realized that Steven's persona is not just trying to go for a quickie with his, with his wife. That he does respect yeah. her and wants to treat her properly. And yeah. so... Yeah. So okay, I respect you. I'm still gonna kick your ass, but I respect you. <laughs> I won't throw you off a cliff. I'll I'll, I'll punch you down a hole. <laughs> yeah, I mean that would have been funny if when they hugged each other in the room, he's like, "Mark, Steven." <laughs> but, oh, that's all. I mean, what a great episode. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I and I can't wait to see how this ep- the next episode starts. I mean, how long are we going to be in this insane asylum? What's going to happen? Who's going to be in that other sarcophagus? Are they going to pop back up? Where is Layla? Did Har- Harrow track her down? What's going on with? Uh, I mean, there's too many questions. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. And then, <laughs> and then, hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to top it off, well, Officer Hooks from Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. We need, we need assistance at the corner forty four. <laughs> <laughs> this is Oprah saying hippo. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're going to try to wrap this up. It's already getting kind of late. Um, if anybody is uh, wondering, it's actually we're, we're, we're getting copyright strikes left and right. We're trying to still figure out oh. what's going on with stuff. And we're trying to do the right thing. But at the same time, give you content that's worth watching. But we do have day jobs and, you know, especially Greg. And he's the editor and I'm too much of an idiot to figure it out myself. So... Uh, we're putting the uh, Boba Fett and um, Peacemaker reaction videos on hold until then just work on one per week. So for the like three people that are actually watching it, sorry, <laughs> I know there's more than that, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, we want to just focus on one and give you good quality content with it rather than try to rush and mess stuff up and give a half product. So uh, anything else to add, sir? I don't have a thing. All right. Well, then I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank everybody for joining, as they always do. Thanks for the comments that you guys get uh, give. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on notifications. And until we see you again uh, next week on this or earlier with other videos, mahalo. <laughs>